Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome an eight-time Juno winner, author and woman full of soul, Jan Arden. The king himself, Elvis Presley, has said that Anne Murray was his favorite female singer. And Elton John once joked that he only knew two things about Canada, hockey and Anne Marie. <laughs> we all know about her many achievements and milestones, the worldwide sales of more than 50 million albums. And the distinction... <laughs> and the distinction of being the first female artist to be presented with a gold record in the US. The numerous awards, including 21 Junos, four Grammys, and three CMA and American Music Awards. She's been honored with the Companion of the Order of Canada and the Order of Nova Scotia, and is an inductee into the Canadian Music Hall of Fame, the Canadian Country Music Hall of Fame, and the Hollywood Walk of Fame. That's a lot of fame. <laughs> but tonight, songwriters honor Anne. The Legacy Award, which we are presenting to her this evening, recognizes her enormous contributions to the songwriting community in this country. It also pays tribute to her great gift as a song interpreter, a talent that I can personally attest to. I will never, ever forget the first time I heard Anne sing a song that I had written many years ago called Missing You, and the voice that had permeated so much of my life and my memories was now winding itself around the words of one of my songs. Anne made it real. She made it so much better than it was. And uh, that's what great singers do. They take seemingly ordinary songs and they turn them into everlasting pieces of history. Please welcome a songwriter's very best friend, Hall of Fame Legacy Award recipient, Anne Murray. It's a real honor to receive this Legacy Award from the songwriters uh, who have been, as Jan said, they've been the backbone of my career. Over the years, I have recorded the equivalent of eight albums, 80 songs, written by Canadians. And I am grateful to finally have the opportunity to say thank you to all of you, not only for me, but from everyone who loves music. I would be remiss in not singling out Jean McClellan. Jean, as many of you know, was a wonderful poet and a wonderful man, and his gift of a song started me on a career that continues to amaze me with each passing year. Jean, this one's for you. Thank you very much. 